Hey guys, okay, so I'm going to a concert, I'm just wearing a Hollister shirt, my makeup, I did a tutorial on this, if you guys want to know how to do it, I'll post it down below. I just wanted to film a real quick video because I've been getting a lot of requests for this and it's what's in my bag for school. Now I showed you guys my bag, oh it has a lot of stuff in it right now, that I'm using for school this year. It's from Bag House and I'm doing a giveaway with the same bag, so if you guys like this bag, I'm giving one away, well Bag House is. And I'm not sure if it's Bag Host or Bag House. I think it's Bag House. Well, anyway, whatever company it is, they're giving one away. So I'll put the link down for that, too, so you could go enter because there's only a couple days left. So let me get started in what's in my bag. So this is this Melly Blanco bag. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to use it with the long strap like a messenger bag, but it also has stuff falling out. Little straps. So... It's really cute because it has, if you want me to show you, I'll show it, if I can turn, ooh, it's filled. It has this um, gold and polka dot patterning in. So I can't really show you the organization of it because everything is just going to fall out, but I'll show you what I'm going to be carrying in the back. So, first thing is a memo pad. Now this is good because you could write daily notes. What I really like to do is I'm really into to-do lists, and I really like checking things off, and I feel really accomplished once I finish my to-do list. So just any notebook. It doesn't have to be fancy. Do not spend $20 on a notebook. No, go to the dollar store and get a notebook. This is just a lime green one that I found. Anyhow, just write notes in it, what you need to do, what videos you want to film, you know, stuff like that. So any products you hear about, notepads are always good. This is just Texas Instruments, a calculator. I went all sophomore year without having a calculator. But I still got an A, but, you know, we won't talk about how I got the A because, yeah, well, I basically, my teacher just, he, he was a sub for half the year, so he just gave everyone an A. But anyway, so I have this calculator. Any calculator is good. Just a pair of sunglasses. These are just some, they kind of look like Lady Gaga ones. They're just any kind of sunglasses that you could wear, throw on when you get out of school and drive home in, if you guys drive. Next is my wallet. This is just a guest wallet. I got this at Macy's, and um, it was like 40 bucks. I don't have my ID in it. Good job, me. I took it out because it's in my other. So I just have, you know, gas cards, movie cards, you know, frequent punch cards like Smoothie King and Smoothie Places and stuff like that. And then, you know, whatever. So you just need a wallet to hold your money and your stuff in. Then, Tic Tacs, any form of gum. I can't really chew gum in school. Well, I mean, everyone does, but you're not supposed to. So, get Tic Tacs or mints if you really get in trouble. Or if you want to be, you know, a rebel, get gum. Then I just have, you know, a cosmetic bag. I'm not the type of girl who wears makeup to school. I wear eyeliner and concealer, sometimes powder, and I do my eyebrows. That's it. So, I'm very neutral when it comes to school. Freshman year, I was all into makeup. But I'm still going to have some back-to-school makeup looks that you guys can keep it easy. But I'm do going to just start bringing concealer. This is in Project 10 Pan. I'm trying to finish this one up. So concealer. You need a body spray. This is just Dove Go Fresh Cool Essentials. But I really like the Bath & Body Works ones. They smell really good. This one's cucumber. Any hand cream. People make fun of me because I call it cream. Does, who call, does anyone call it cream or do you guys call it lotion? Because I call it cream. Okay, hand lotion. This is just Curious by Britney Spears, whatever. Hand sanitizer. Um, I have this one from Bath and Body Works. What's a really good idea is to keep these bottles when you're done with it rather than throw them out. Keep them. Go to the dollar store. Buy a family value bottle of hand sanitizer and just refill them. So you save money. That's what I'm going to do. I have a couple other bottles that I'm going to fill up. But this one is actually from Bath and Body Works and it's the coconut lime. Mouthwash. You know, because you can't really bring a toothbrush to school. Some people do, but I mean, I'm not going to really brush my teeth in the bathroom. So just get some mouthwash gargle and spit it out so your bath smells good. Dental floss because, okay, after lunch, this is kind of weird. I don't know if anyone does this. One of my friends does this too, but I've never really told people that I do this. If I have something in my teeth and I can't get it out with my finger, you guys are going to think this is really gross, but I pluck out one of my hairs and I, like, I floss with one of my hairs. Like, it's really gross, but honestly, it gets the job done. But rather than doing that and going bald, just get some dental floss. And then you're going to want some oil absorbing sheets. These are just from e.l.f. Eyes, Lips, Face, whatever. They were a dollar. Got these a while ago. These are green tea ones. But the Clean and Clear ones, Walgreens brand works just as fine too. So that's all the stuff in my cosmetic bag. 
Then you're going to want to have, you know, planners. This is my, my school hands out planners, but this is one from last year. I made a collage you know, with just pictures that I like. So it's it's prettier than the standard ones. So make collages with your planners. And it'll keep you updated on what to do. Oh, look, I still have school papers in it. Summer 2010, which is over. It's over for me on Tuesday, guys. How sad is that? You're just going to want a notebook, you know, for each class. I'm not going to really talk about that and folders with paper in it. These are just, you know, regular notebooks and folders just for classes that you guys are going to need this. I personally hold my um, stuff in my hands and walk around with it. So, I mean, I don't know what you guys do, but I don't feel like holding it. So, I hold it in my hands. And then next, index cards. These are great for flashcards. These are also good for to-do lists. Or is something you need to remember, these are good for studying. So keep index cards. And then in the pocket, um, carry a hair tie. And on the hair tie, just put, you know, little bobby pins. Because I used to be the one who asked people for bobby pins. And no one ever had them. So just carry your own and attach them to the hair tie. Because you always need an extra hair tie. You want to have some essential lip products. That's something I always had. I always had tons of lip products. Never face products or eye products, but I always carried lip products. You know, there's just sheer strawberry lip conditioning, Clinique one, so lip balm, and just, you know, like a coral lipstick because I apply lipstick in school. A lot of people don't. I do because I'm cool like that. And then also the last thing I think you should want to carry are cough. Gosh, do you guys know I've been spilling things lately? Our cough drops. These are just Hall ones and then Walgreens brand cherry ones. Just carry these because sometimes I would get sick in the middle of school and need cough drops and guess what? No one had them. So it's always good to have your own stuff and not have to bum off people. So just carry stuff like that. And last but not least, it's just a pencil case. This one that I got last year that I'm just going to use again this year because it's perfectly fine. It's from Target and you're going to want to carry, you know, pens, pencils, sharpies, stuff like that. I just have a pocket rosary that I got for school. If you ever feel like saying a prayer and you want to pray for someone, I have a certain someone that always needs prayers. So if you guys run out of people to pray for, just say someone for me because I do have someone. I have this little cute heart thing, which is really cool and it's nice for clipping papers if you guys need one of those. Grippers because I can't write without grippers because my fingers start to hurt whatever and then you know like a jump drive if you guys take computer I don't take a computer but if you guys do and then I don't know where it went but you guys also should carry around sharpener and scissors I don't have room for that right now but I always was the one who had scissors in her bag because you know I always need to cut things if something's messed up and I always sharpen my own pencil because the school sharpeners suck like at my school the sharpeners suck and they don't sharpen your pencils good so just get those 99 cents pocket ones and they work great so those are my back to school like bag essentials, what you should carry in your bag. My opinions differ from yours. You may be more high maintenance than me or more be less high maintenance than I am. So on and so forth. Oh, <laughs> don't forget your cell phone. That's the most important thing that you could ever take to school because how do you survive school without texting?